All right, so we just got back from the back of the property. It's raining, it's cold, and I wanted to give you guys a tour. In this video, I just want to give you a tour and an update of the property. I really haven't shared this with anybody uh, on what's going on, what the progress that we've made so far here at the property. And what better time than now when it's cold and raining, right? So here is the creek. This is the saving grace. When we first got here, the creek was really, really high all the way up, probably another three, four feet. And it was just really bad. So it was even worse than it is. We have to come through here and clean this out. We'll probably do that when it's not raining, <laughs> but everything seems to be going good. There's a lot of dams dammed up, but what we're going to do is I got to go rent the U17, the mini excavator that we, we had here before and just come through here again and we're going to ditch this out and grade it. So it's a nice little neat, clean stream here pretty soon. But the stream has been flowing pretty good. We have a couple projects that the kids started and that they wanted to start like this right here. We have dirt, rocks. This is going to be like a little footbridge eventually that they wanted to start. We had a trail that ran up and it kind of goes up and around the pond. So there's a couple things that we haven't finished yet. But for the most part, the stream is the creek, I should say. This is a seasonal creek. It has been working wonders. It's been helping drain the property. So let's head over to the pond now and give you guys an update on what's going on over there. So before I show you guys the pond, just kind of show you down here. This is the bottom of the pond. So our creek runs down the side of the property and almost on the side, we, we have like another, I don't know, 100 feet or so on the side. And it goes out into the ditch. This was a man-made pond way, way, way back in the day. And I'm probably thinking, I think it's around the 40s, 30s or 40s that the pond was put in. This area right here, we did find out what this is. This is just like a big hole. Let me get over here. And at first I thought it was like another feeder pond or something. But come to find out, this is where the original house cabin sat. And this was the cellar to the original cabin. So this is where they would store their food and stuff. And the only reason we know that is because a person that lives down the road has been here for multi-generations, an Amish fellow. He came down and he was telling me all about what this was, what used to be here and who used to live here. I guess this was all farm field. And looking back at the historical maps, that checked out. All right, hop over here to the pond. This is our overflow ditch that we put in for the time being. This will all be graded out eventually, but we had to really focus on just cleaning up and draining the property so it didn't have any standing water. So it's like a construction site around here. So pardon our mess. And here's the pond. Now, if you go way, way back in the videos, this was a swamp. And the only reason I found this, funny story, the reason I found, didn't even know that the property had this on it. Um, the way I found this was we were out walking about when we first got it, it was snowing. And it was around February, super cold. And we got hit with a blizzard and we couldn't see anything. And this was all really high brush, like thorn, uh, thorn brush, blueberry, blackberry, and just super, super thick. And I walk out and next thing I know, I'm up to my hip in cold water. So I knew that there was a swamp, something bigger than the puddles that were around. And this is what it was. So we had big tree, we went and cleaned it. And you guys can see that on some of the previous videos. I'm gonna put the card up top or you can go back and just check out season one of the channel. And we spent a lot of time cleaning this out. Well, another funny story about the pond. There is a Monte Carlo in there, chilling, maybe 20 feet down and 20 feet out. We ended up leaving it there. We don't know why it is in there, but you can check that video out too. I promise you, I'm not yanking your leg. There's a Monte Carlo in there. It's a 1980 something Monte Carlo. We even got a license plate for it and they couldn't find, they couldn't help us. I had the sheriff come out, I called the sheriff. It was a big deal. The news crews wanted to come out, but with this being off grid, kind of didn't want to bring people out here and talk about it. Anyways, there was no dead bodies, no car, uh, no guns, no weapons, nothing we could find in there that identified who the, the car belonged to. And I guess back then, they, there's paper records and 
they really, I don't know why they had registration if they couldn't just look it up, but apparently it's somewhere in an archive somewhere that we're never probably gonna find. So the law enforcement said if there's no dead bodies in it, it's not connected to any missing persons. The license plate comes back with nothing. Leave it there, it's my problem. So I left it there. The pond all in all, we drained it. The pond is about 18 feet deep and way deeper than I thought it was. And it's getting there. You can tell it's clean it's out now. We've, we've treated it, uh, did a lot of muck removal for it. We treated it with a lot of chemicals and muck reducer this year. All right, enough of the pond. Although this is a beautiful pond uh, now, and it will be even more beautiful next year when we put uh, more grass and clean up the edges. We do have fish in there too, by the way. We stocked it with bluegill and bass, carp, grass carp, and uh, some other little feeder fish and stuff. They're all in there. We have uh, apple trees and stuff on the other side. Jess's bench, that is in a video too as well. And that's about really it. Look at the outhouse, the cabin. The cabin was is not done. We got wrapped up in a whole bunch of other stuff, so we started to side it and kind of backed off because of the mill that we were using, the chainsaw mill. So, got our lay down yard over there. We got wood ready to go for that. We're gonna be siding that with real wood with our mill that uh, we will be getting. And that's it, you know, we did a lot of stump removal. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on here at the property, but it's been a handful, I'll tell you. We got a fire going, trash pit going, it is raining, I'm cold, I'm going home, and I'll see you guys here in the next video.